Hi, it's me again with Corolla Draw Tips and Tricks. It's part two about this logo. And for those of you that have watched some videos that I say that white will not engrave, see this square box and see the part of it engraved and some of it's not. And part one dealt with that dithering, I think, effect. But here's part two. And if we take a yellow box and go to object and order and back a page, there is a white box around this logo. But that's only one of the problems. So it's all grouped together. We're gonna to go to object group and ungroup. And let's get rid of that outline. I don't, the outline's not in the engraving, so I'm just gonna delete it. But guess what? The white box is still there. And we haven't really taken it away. So, hit the white box and hit delete. But that's only one part of this problem. Two, one is the color. Uh, that might be what your problem is, is the color is not black. If you're going to laser engraver, and, and most laser engravers I know, you need black. But this logo is made up of fill with no lines and lines with no fill. And the other problem he was having, and he was, I'm glad he sent me a screenshot. He's trying to get rid of that right there. And it's telling him that the eraser tool will not erase this, cannot be selected object. Well, that's because that's not really what you want to use for the eraser tool. So let's look at this logo and here's those crosshairs where these aren't touching. Let's look at this in wireframe. Go to view wireframe and you can see all the problems. Uh, that's a problem, but we're gonna try this. I'm just gonna take the virtual segment delete key and delete that on both these. But that's only really one of the problems. So we're gonna do something even different. These lines aren't connected. Now he had them as a thick line and under enhance, they should work, but you can still see we've got this little divot. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to take away the letters. I'm going to set my nudge factor. And first of all, I'd strongly suggest you set that to zero, zero. This thing is less than two inches. So we're going to set our nudge factor on two. And I'm going to move these letters out of the way because they are a fill and they're correct. And those are connected. These are not. So I'm just gonna take all, and I'm nudging them with the right arrow key so I can nudge them right back exactly in the deal. I would select all this and right click black in RGB. Now these are lines. So what we're gonna do here we're gonna take all these lines and convert them to a hairline. And now you see there's really no gap, but there are some missing spots that shouldn't really matter. See, we got some lines that go over the fill or over the area. So I would clean all that stuff. Now we're looking at it in, in enhanced mode, but uh, with uh, just hairline. Look. So like these lines don't meet, or some of them. So now what, if, and there's a line that does not meet. You know, it needs to meet to get a good crisp logo. Now what I'm gonna do is, and see that's not a font, that is a outline too, but I must not have hit it. Left click, no fill. So it, see, it's even a brown hairline. The color doesn't really matter right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these objects and weld them and see what happens. That probably didn't stop the shortage, but I don't really, without, let's go unweld them and take, let's zoom in here. It would just take a little bit of work to bring that up to there without really changing your logo. And we might even try something else because we still have a little divot in this point when we show
show a larger line. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, when I'm going to take this out of the way, so everything's black, I'm going to take, I'm going to select everything and then select everything with the shape tool. Then I'm going to go to windows, dockers, join, curves. Mine's only set on 0 0.01. And let's see if it joined those curves. A lot of times it will not because it doesn't really have a node to go to. And it might be further anyway because there's not a node here. So I'm going to carefully move that up to there. This might not matter if we use a thicker font. Because let's try this now. Let's turn everything into an object. Now, let's, uh, let's see what we need to do now. We need to turn it back. I don't remember what point it had. I don't think it was quite that thick. But see, this is an object. Now, if we left click, well, there's no fill, that's an outline. But it should have, let me back up here. Tell you what, let me just grab it and make it that two points or a point and a half. And maybe I didn't get it converted to an object. Then we can left click, right click, and look at all the joints. And that's why it's got that break. So let's try this first. Let's grab it all and go up to weld and weld it. That got rid of all those interior breaks. Now it's still, because it was thicker, it's got some messed up line. And I might even created that, I, that whole scenario there. But let's do this. Just take your smart fill tool and just delete that little bitty bump. Delete that outer bump. Um, let's see if there's some others. Yeah, it must have been what I, I moved them up. And so I might have just uh, been a little premature on doing that. Uh, got a, No, I don't think I've moved these bumps. But we're just trying to get a good clean outline. Now on this, we want a clean, good clean point. So I'm going to delete, let's see what happens if we delete those two. See, we got now we've got a good crisp point. Same thing here. We've actually got a rounded, well, that's the top. Here's the bottom one. Yeah, we've got two problems. Let's just delete all three of these, or those two. Now, what I think would be the best thing to do, i got a couple more. See, these are lines that were extended past. Remember on the other side, I did it. And let's go ahead and clean it totally up. A lot of times I think, well, I could have stopped and just keep going, but uh, might as well finish the project. People that get bored and don't want to watch, don't have to watch. Now, almost got them. We're going to convert these to a hairline now. Because I think we're going to be a lot better off. Yeah, I even cut, clipped these little parts off. Now, oh man, I just, I'm one of those type of people that just can't stop uh, making it perfect. All right, that's it. Now let's take and turn this into a hairline. And what we're going to do now is take the smart build tool, set on black, and watch, and just fill in black, nudge it over, black, nudge it over, black, nudge it over. And there's that logo. And now if we take away this, and I take away this, but I, I'm glad this, I'm glad somebody finally kind of proved it that white would engrave. Now, the, the ultimate test after you get through doing this is control G and then hit F4 on your keyboard. If that's the only thing that comes up, you haven't left anything. Let's say we leave something over here and we're zoomed in, we're looking at this logo, we hit F4. Well, it brings up that other part. I, and one reason by smart filling and, and uh, such you know that it's clear. Now to, to finish breaking this, we gotta go break the, ungroup it, and 
get rid of those outer notes. See, those are just, the lines were thicker uh, when, we, when he made it, and so on and so on. I'm really going to finish it up, and I might just send it to him. Uh, but I, I don't really like doing that because I want people, you know, the reason, the how I learned was by, and that's, I messed that up. If you ever mess up like that, just go back. You know, I hit the wrong node. And because you don't want to, you don't want to mess up the shape. But just look around and make sure that's all right. You know, there maybe that tip of that uh, right there shouldn't be there. Just hit delete, and then you can even move it up there since it's all one color. But anyway, I'm real curious whether I know this is going to solve this problem, but I uh, hopefully you'll send me a picture. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.